And one thing that we will discuss, especially as we head toward the winter months, Kindle, is that threat for frostbite, even hypothermia. The temperatures that we're going to see in the Northeast, you want to be mindful of it, and mm -hmm. it's a nice reminder, hey, it's going to be getting cold, mm -hmm. so be sure to bundle up. Yes, yes. I mean, we're heading into the tail end of November, going to head into December right after that. So we're in the, the heart of the winter season, and yes. we need to be aware of this, exactly what Stephen was just saying. So we have a little bit of an explainer for you, the difference between frostbite as well as hypothermia. So we can see right there, mainly the signs and symptoms for frostbite is redness or pain in any skin area, and that's going to be the first signs that you see. But I wanted to point out, one of the earliest stages of frostbite is actually called frost nip. And Important a lot of folks, there, yeah. yeah, a lot of folks definitely have experienced frost nip before. Essentially, it's that cold tingling feeling that you feel in your extremities mm -hmm. and that's why it's an important thing to, to remember those gloves when we when we discuss I mean temperatures it dropping down in the single digits and and these are the wind chills that we're mm -hmm. discussing when you factor in a little bit of that wind that uh, that risk for frostbite will certainly increase and mm -hmm. especially when we see those temps drop into the negatives yes. you know the 20s and the 30s that frost nip as you mentioned mm -hmm. Kendall that's what will that's what will uh, potentially feel I mean you step outside and it's like oh it's cold and you yes. feel that that wind. Yeah. Uh, hypothermia is dangerous though because that's when the body drops below 95 degrees Fahrenheit and that's when things can become very serious and and yes hypothermia uh, it, it can be fatal for mm -hmm. humans shivering exhaust exhaustion confusion all those things factored in when uh, somebody is is going through hypothermia yeah something like I said to be aware of as mm -hmm. we head toward these colder months and so we'll be We'll be very aware of what's going on with the colder weather, right? Yes, very much so. And don't forget to also cover your ears. That's a hidden spot yes, people forget about a lot. Those